All right. You know them as the Schultz brothers. Please welcome from Cage the Elephant, Matt and Brad Schultz. What's up, guys? Welcome. Hey. Yeah. Hey. We got a new album to celebrate. It's about damn time. We're very excited about this. Neon Pill is out now. What do you guys think? Congratulations. And we started the Bloodsuckers up again. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, the first song you guys <laughs> no, ever no wrote. Reference, no reference. <laughs> the first no, no. song you guys ever wrote together as brothers was a theme song for a little cult they started when they were children called the Bloodsuckers. That's true. That's true. And do you want to reprise that song for this beautiful crowd of people today? <laughs> oh, God. Brad, you can take it. Are you ready? There's kids in here. We can't say this. Oh, no. come on. No. Bloodsuckers is our name. Kicking ass is our game. <laughs> we wrote that when we were nine. We started a gang. It was cool. A couple it's of Grammys later and boom. Now, has there ever been a discussion to actually write a song called Bloodsuckers and release it all these years later? <laughs> That'd be punk rock. I, yeah. Next album. <laughs> Every song. You know, uh, today is an exciting day for us, these people here, everyone listening around the country, but you got a new album out. You're following up two albums, both of which received Grammys. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have anyone left to thank, or have you thanked everyone to this point publicly? I think I've thanked everyone publicly. <laughs> <laughs> and privately. Do you even yeah. know where your Grammys are? Do you keep them in a specific place in your house? Mine are in a box. <laughs> like a box I with just your moved. high school I yearbook? Just, I just moved, but um, yeah. I, I hung a line on my front door. <laughs> <laughs> Let the neighbors know you're better than them. <laughs> nice. Smart move right there. So they're just... What, they're what, embedded what, into my house. Yeah. But I would imagine, does that put pressure when you're working on this new album, Neon Pill, at all? Because you've had such success, especially following up 2015, 2019. Is there additional pressure? I think there's more pressure internally to make something that we're in love with. Um, all the accolades and things like that are, are just like icing on top, so. Well, Neon Pill, we've been playing like crazy on K-Rock. K -Rock. It's a fucking great song. And um, Thank you. obviously the album called Neon Pill as well. And what was the decision like to even write Neon Pill? I mean, obviously you've written about something that's very personal to you and I'm sure there was a decision process on whether or not you even wanted to include that narrative in your life well i mean it, it was undeniably part of of my life and part of the story uh, of this past five years i i um i was prescribed a medication and unknowingly slipped into psychosis and it was terrifying and terrible um and i think while we were writing some of the songs before i was even ready to deal with that stuff to confront it full on, I was already kind of working it out internally. And that was one of the first songs that was written and so it, it, felt, uh, it felt like the right move to make that the, the title track. You know, it's I mean, it's a miracle that I, that I got through all of that stuff and, and yeah. I'm here today. Yeah, give it up for that. Very, very thankful. We love you guys. Whenever I listen love to you. Cage music, <laughs> For some time, it's interesting. Some bands' music just fits a certain genre. Like this is good for driving. This is good for hanging out with your friends. Your songs, I always feel like, are all over the place in the sense that they could fit a variety of things. But it always has a nice dirtiness to the sound. What do you think when you think of a song like Neon Pill? Where do people listen to that? I don't know. <laughs> Why um, they're swimming and crying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why they're crying under the water. <laughs> oh, and they don't want anyone to see the tears. <laughs> that, you know, it's actually, that reminds me when I was a kid, I jumped off the high dive and I was going to try to do a flip uh, yeah. off the high dive and I did a back buster so hard. And I just sunk to the bottom of the pool. I was like, <laughs> underwater. You're like, this is just like Cage the Elephant. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, <laughs> scream underwater as loud as you can and then just be normal when you come up. <laughs> now, on album release day, do you have any traditions, any things you guys like to do together to celebrate? Um, or is I'm it just striking out here. I don't know. <laughs> uh, sometimes we get together and listen to the record together, but... Um, 
Yeah, I just made that up. I don't know. I'm, try- <laughs> <laughs> I'm, reaching, for I'm reaching for air. I'm reaching for air. It's well, also okay to say nothing. Yeah. I mean, it's nice to just have a day off to enjoy it. Uh, you, you I actually it. say nothing. You ask a question, I just sit here so silently. Hey, we <laughs> we just leave us hanging. Yeah. Our, 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 our tradition is, um, is uh, calling each other after the record's released and then saying things that we should have done on the oh, record. Oh, 100%. <laughs> I Which, should have recut that vocal. Oh, God. Why? Is a song done? you ever think a song is done? Or you just go, that's eh, as good as it's going to get? Yeah, honestly, as good as it's going to get. Because when we're out on the road, a lot of, a lot of times, um, a year or two in, the song's better. Yeah, that's yeah. just how it goes. Well, uh, speaking of being out on the road, just announced, but a big tour, which starts June 20th, 45-day <laughs> tour. <laughs> Los Angeles, as we say, happy birthday, America, July 7th, you're going to be here. Uh, if you've never seen Cage the Elephant live, it is something else, and you have been injured multiple times. I think I've been at some of those shows, uh, throwing your body around. Uh, do, you, do you still go as hard, or have your doctors told you to slow down? <laughs> well, the doctors told me to speed up. That's what got me in trouble in the first place. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> no, uh, I- I'm definitely still as wild as ever and love the live show love to be part of the crowd so do you know how many bones you've broken i i've not broken any bones i've separated my sternum from my rib cage i've gotten several stitches um things like that well the day is young so get ready huh yeah Yeah. who knows what could happen here how expensive is your life insurance no nick actually like broke his leg in half one time in germany no 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 he he tore his patellar tendon well it still looked like he broke his leg in half. it was nasty (laughs) with uh the tour the album of course the new and improved cage the elephant do you think that this album and i you probably have to say this but as you listen to all of your other ones is this the best album to date you think the neon pill is is the best cage has ever been i think it's um it's the most uh, it, it's it's a record that kind of embodies all of the different kind of uh, phases that we've phases gone that through, we through yeah. well, I, there's a great quote of paul mccartney quote and he said you can't beat your previous work you can just move in a different direction i love that so with um going on tour you know one of the first things that, one one of the first times i met you guys we were backstage and we did shots together and it was great. And then it made me think, you know, where is rock and roll, like is the rock and roll culture backstage still alive and well? Because a lot of the other bands, it was like they were just sipping on green juices and doing yoga. And I'm like, is the rock and roll party mentality still alive or is it dying? What do you think? I think it moves into different areas in your life, not necessarily substance-based, but just living life at the fullest and, you know, enjoying things for what they are for sure. What you don't realize, Ali, is we did shots of wheatgrass back then. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Very cool. Yeah, that was a placebo we, effect. That's yeah, so weird. So we did ginger shots. <laughs> it was, was non alcoholic whiskey. Uh, we have some questions from Near fans. Beer. And uh, listen, we don't want to hog all your time because they're about to take the stage and play for you all, which will be wonderful. But we do have some listener questions. So, uh, this, of course, for Cage the Elephant celebrating Neon Pill out now. Get it while you can. All right, here's your first question. If you could have your own night to do a purge, which crime would you commit oh my God. first and why? Brad, I'll let you take this one. Uh, I don't know. Vandalism? Maybe? Actually, you know, yeah, you know what me and Matt used to do when we were kids? We'd go around stealing all the chrome uh, caps off of the fancy ones off of cars, <laughs> off the off the uh, tires. Because we heard somewhere you could sell them. <laughs> yeah, so we thought, we're like we're gonna get rich. That's that's real bloodsucker we're, shit right there. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're nine well. years old, really living it up. Same we got a lot of those for sale on uh, Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty five cents a piece, <laughs> but we have three thousand of them. All right, next question, Matt and Brad. You have talked about being teased as kids. Have you ever encountered uh, encountered one of your bullies as an adult? Uh, I mean, I think we were just children. And, you know, like, um, I wish the best for everybody. I wish, you know, maybe they, maybe they can, like... Um, in you know, your face, in my fuzz. No, <laughs> no, 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 but for real, like, you know, they're, they're probably, more, hopefully, as they grow up, just realize that they were... You know. Terrible people. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, we have them here today. Come on here, They're Tony. Right here. Come on. <laughs> no, A blast from crazy. your past. Here's <laughs> all the... 
Uh, all right. Rank from best to worst. No, I was just staring at <laughs> Where really? are they? Okay, give me a wedge. Mark? Here. <laughs> um, all right. Rank the following from best to worst. Your Grammys, being in Spider-Man, or being with Klein and Alley right now? Being with you all right with now. You all right yeah. now. Best. That's right. And, That's right. St- and stealing the caps off the cards. <laughs> Final question. That right. was fun. And finally, if Cage the Elephant was going to do a collaboration with Rage Against the Machine, would you ra- would your would your name be Rage Rage the Elephant or Cage Against the Machine? Ooh. Cage Against the Machine. I like that. Top billing. Once again, there's a new album out. Let's celebrate it. You're gonna hear some of these songs one more time for Matt Brad Schultz, Cage the Elephant. Yeah. Thanks, guys.